Hey, so answering your questions. Obviously, you subscribe, then I answer your question, yeah? Cool. I got asked um, what inspired me to do YouTube. Um, for me, it was a logical and rational decision. And it was also very much about so where are audiences going. Um, so let me just go back to 2014. I'm sitting in class in New York and um, we're having the conversation actually on digital and the future of media as a whole. And a um, gentleman from Google kind of just does by show of hands. How many of you believe that, you know, the big box is first screen and how many of you believe that either your tablet or your laptop or your phone is your first screen? Now, a lot of people believe that what I'm holding here is second screen. This is first screen. This is first screen. And it might have been something strange um, in 2014. It's a reality in 2015. Um, my tablet has been my first screen forever and a day. I, I don't print boarding passes. I just download them on my screen and I hand them over when I'm flying. Um, I, don't, I don't do much, you know, paper. And this is when this became first screen. But I think what's really important about the conversation on first screen versus second screen is what is really happening to everybody, including me. So let me use myself as an example. If, if you're from my generation, forget Kina Linda Nyangweso. Linda Nyangweso wants to know what we did before Google. She said, did you have to read a book? Just poker with a viral. But the truth is, um, there used to be scheduled content. And then there was one screen, one place, and it was mass media. And then a couple of years ago, and I do believe this was probably about six, seven years ago, you began to understand that there was content anytime. And it was on any screen any place and then you had this fragmented media i believe within the next year to two years we're going to see people who want content at the right time and at the right time is my time and they're going to want the right screen which is the screen they want whether they want to see it on their phone and there's a reason mobile phones are growing again the screens on mobile phones are growing remember when they began to shrink and we were so excited i remember mine used to fit right here um that can't happen anymore not with the monster i carry right now and of course the right place and it will be called my media for me, I have always loved radio because radio is one-on-one -on -one communication. YouTube is the next natural thing to one-on-one -on -one because very rarely does anybody actually watch me on YouTube, including you, with 10 other people. You watch me on your phone, on your laptop, on your tablet, but you do it alone. And for me, YouTube once again gives me a chance to talk to just you. I don't care if there's 20,000 subscribers. I don't care if this YouTube video has 6,000 or 10,000 views. I know that those 10,000 or a million views will come one person at a time. And I'm very clear that I like my media to be one person at a time. So that's why I did YouTube. Yeah? Okay. <laughs>